What up, what up, guys? So today I'm going to love my bank outside because it's very, very beautiful outside. And I said, why not? Why not? Enjoy it outside because, you know, it's been... I'm sorry about that. I was going to say it's been raining, but when I said that, I, I literally meant that. That's why I said what I said. Um. Anyway, so... Let me move up a little bit. Oh, sh up a little bit. No, no, no. Let's go down. Let's go down a little bit. Sorry. Anyways... If you know what I got to eat, I got some fried popcorn chicken and maybe this maki maki taco with just some uh, sweet sauce from uh, Hidden Valley and guac and some lemon. So let's try this first. I'm more excited for this than anything else here. So. Mmm. I swear, Daniels do not miss. I have tried Daniels Primo seasoning. On a steak, I have tried now. There's no new seasoning on fish. They don't miss, guys. Daniels is delicious, man. I'm going to Carbos probably in another two months for my birthday. I definitely got to bring some Primo when I go to Carbos. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, and this is just a low calorie. Um, like, uh, pro not protein, but like. How do I say? Not low calorie. Um, it's a uh, low carb protein. Yeah, there you go. Mm. Oh, shit. It's oozing out. Mmm. Mmm. I normally do cold water, but I didn't want to rush. I didn't want to um, have this mukbang go longer than it is. I mean, be wait, be waiting to start this longer than I did. So I just got regular bottle water. You know, so it's room temperature. Mmm. 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 Yeah, my Mayu is delicious. Mm. I'm not gonna lie. When I was growing up, my favorite dish would be like at restaurants, would be fish and chips. That would be like my chicken tenders growing up. And then, as I got older, I could appreciate a good uh, fish taco. This is some sauce I had the other day. It's from. Um, Oh, so I didn't know this, guys. Look out for that review when it happens. Marco's Pizza. This is this is Marco's Pizza sauce. It's their jalapeno ranch. My mom got my mom got pizza yesterday. So, hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I was gonna say what? Well, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Marco's Pizza now has spicy items. Hmm. I didn't know that. I saw it yesterday when my mom was ordering pizza on the app. It's something I definitely have to try when I try it. But, um, yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, these fries could have gone long, a little bit longer in the oven to be crispy. Some orange, some aren't. They're, they're, they're like mixed. So, what I'm saying is, yeah, so, they're going to try it. I know they have a, um, their calzone, or the, I think it was called, and their, 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 their uh, cheesy bread, spicy bread now. And they have like three or two spicy pizzas. I'm not going to review it all. I love pizza. I love pizza, man. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, guys. Oh yeah, I could have gone a lot longer, you guys. I'm just hungry. I can't wait. They're good. But it's actually kind of salt. I mean, kind of not crunchy enough. But anyway, guys. So today. 
I'm really just eating and then good because tonight I might pregame here in the house. We'll have two teas and go to the concert I'm, I want to go to tonight. Oh shit. That might come out. That might come out. It's a little stain. I know. I'm gonna put, probably put shorts. I'm probably put shorts on because it's gonna feel kind of fresh outside and swim for a little bit before I before I get ready. Because the place I'm going to, the doors open at eight. I'm definitely gonna go to a concert. And you can see my hair looking like a. We never know all of you know what I mean. Gosh, mom, this is not a face. This is like, bro. No, no, no. It's just I have long hair, long bangs. I need a haircut. Well, I would love to do this next week. I originally broke my glasses, which is okay. Because I always knew I needed new glasses because they weren't, the, the, the part that goes onto your head, one was crooked a little bit. and So my glasses never really stayed on my head good enough. And me being me. I would always be a dumb person. Oh, it's just ketchup, by the way. Sorry, I have to catch up. Me, 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 me. I pushed it long enough. Oh, shit. Oh, it's black. That was a, uh, something, something else. I pushed it long enough to today I need glasses. And today I need glasses. But it's not here right there. I'm going to get in, try to go next week. My mom doesn't know I broke my glasses. She's just, she just trying to get me into the door so I can get new glasses because they're crooked. And anybody that mama who know me know I have crooked glasses, so. Yeah, I probably swim for a little bit. Why not, you know? Oh, man. Today's been a day, bros. I know at 4 30, the, the United States are playing uh, Colombia. And then at 8 or 9, I think, the, the uh, Mexico is playing Brazil. And everyone's riding off Mexico. And I ain't got, I'm not like, I'm a Mexican American at heart. I love my roots. Like, my dad came from Mexico here. My mom, strictly here, have roots in Mexico. But she's not, she didn't was born over there. She did, like, she's not. She hasn't stepped foot in Mexico as a child. Like, what I'm trying to say is, my dad has ties in Mexico because he lived there for a little bit. He went to school there a little bit. Um, his family over there, so he has he has like like knots over there. My mom has ties but no knots. If that that makes sense. So, what I'm saying is, I love being a Mexican American. I will always say that I'm Mexican and American. I would never say I'm just an American. Never will. But I'm a big fan of soccer. Like that's my sport. And honestly, I'm a realist. By that I mean I love watching Mexico play. You know, yeah. That gave if you if you know the history of them, they gave some bomb ass memories back in the days, right? And recently, they've been the best. They kind of suck. Um, my cousin, he has family that's come down to go see them in Kyle Field, right? Mexico versus um, Brazil. I don't want to go because I know Mexico are going to lose. And what's right now? In the United States, they're a little bit better than Mexico. I don't know what the hell Mexico is doing. Yeah, it's still gone a lot longer with these fries. I was hungry, can't wait. I mean, they're done, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just, you know, they keep it a little longer because just like when you do a steak. You know, pan, you do it longer for the crust. But, um, yeah, so, I didn't want to go to that. My friend did, I think, but 
He didn't have the money. We could have done it, me and my friend, but I was like, I better not go see those fools lose. I better see when a game matters because this game they could lose, right? Who cares? The Copa America is happening in Houston. So I told myself, I better go to that than watch them lose a regular stupid game. You know? So, but, if they lose, I'm going to talk shit to my friend. Like, you want to lose the game, fool? <laughs> nah, I'm up. I look at it like this. Family's coming down. They win or lose, you can see family. So. Hmm. Oh, but um, but yeah, guys. So, but if you want to know what I'm doing tonight, the only reason I'm eating heavily right now because this morning I had an omelet, pretty heavy omelet, three egg omelet. Right now I'm having this meal I have having now because I'm gonna probably pregame a little bit, three teas, two teas, and then go to the concert and may drink more or not. I don't know because I'll be spending a lot of money if I do that, but probably not. But what I'm saying is, I'm going to a concert for time, and I'm done. These five were just okay. A lot of time I'm doing better than what they are now, but I was just too hungry to wait. Cause I ate around like 11, 12, and it's already three, more four, so. But yeah, I made sure I ate a lot. Make sure I got like, food in my system because I want to make sure I drink. I mean, I drink. If I drink, I'll be good, you know? That's all. Probably not. But, um, yeah, guys. Let me know if you had any plans today and if you executed them because, you know, you got a plan for the unexpected. You know, shit might happen. Go, shit might, might end up being the way it is or not being the way it is. You got to prepare because, like, I always say this, don't cry with spill milk. Like, like if things happen the way they happen and they don't happen with what it should happen, it's meant to be or not meant to be. It's whatever. It's going to put things in God's hands. I always say that because this past year, for Easter, I was supposed to go to Mexico. That didn't happen. And I could have been mad. I could have been angry. But I understood why. But I just, you know, let God, let God. Um, control it and he said you're not going so you're not going but anyways guys nevertheless um if you're watching any sports tonight like soccer wise like united states um put it down below what your predictions of that game is or if you're going or if you're watching the Mexico game let me know that prediction because people are people have predicted that game 4-0 i don't predict the 4-0 4-0 i predict the 4-1 or 4-2 at least you know <laughs> Not even, probably 3-1. I don't think we're going to get that smoked. I don't know. We got smoked last one against Uruguay, so. I don't know. But uh, anyways, guys, every single one of y'all, or now, peace.